Today, we'll teach you how to install the automated resin feeder. Here, we'll showcase all the inlet unit components, and here are the pump unit components. Knowing their names will make the installation easier. First, prepare a 2mm hex key and a 2.5mm hex key. Turn off the printer and unplug the power cord. Next, we are going to install the inlet unit. The unit is mounted to its seat, top left to the LCD. Remove the baffle on the printer's back casing. Use the 2.5mm hex key to remove the panel and make sure to store it properly. Then use the 2mm hex key to remove the cover on the side of the printer. Next, put the two screws from the panel into the two holes on the back of the inlet unit. Feed the cables on the units through the hole beneath the panel and the inlet tube through the hole on the side of the printer. Place the inlet unit onto its seat and secure the two screws using the 2.5mm hex key. After that, plug the red servo cable into the red slot and the blue sensor cable into the blue slot. After putting the side cover back, we have installed the inlet unit. Now we'll move on to the pump unit. The automated resin feeder works with any 1kg resin bottle from Frozen. If you are using a third-party resin, you can use it after pouring it into the empty bottle we included. Make sure to shake the bottle to mix the resin evenly before installing the pump unit. Tighten the pump lid to the resin bottle and make sure it is fully secured. Place the bottle into the slot in the pump case. Connect the bottle cap infusion tube to the metal port on the cap. Then carefully insert the other end of the tube to the left side white peristaltic tube of the unit by rotating left and right. Following that, connect one end of the lid data cable to the pump lid and another to the port on the back of the pump unit. Next, cautiously insert the inlet tube from the inlet unit to the right side wipe peristaltic tube by slowly rotating the tube left and right. Connect one end of the pump data cable to the back of the pump unit and the other end to the back of the printer. Remember, the black inlet tubes must fit tightly with the white peristaltic tube without any gap in between. After installing the tubes, pull both ends of the white peristaltic tube upward to improve the resin flow when operating. With all that out of the way, we can now move to setting up the printer. Plug in the power cord and turn on the printer. Click on Tools, select Resin Auto Fill Pump, turn on both Auto Fill and Auto Pump, and you're all set. Before printing, please make sure to pour sufficient amount of resin into the vat. After pressing print, the feeder of the automated resin feeder will drop into the vat. When auto-filling, the motor of the pump unit should rotate counterclockwise. When auto-pumping, the motor should rotate clockwise. And that's it for the installation tutorial. When printing for a long session or a large model, the automated resin feeder can help refill the resin in a timely manner. Thank you for watching! Hope you find this video helpful! Be sure to let us know if you have any questions in the comment section. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more exciting news from Frozen. I'll see you next time. Happy printing!